welcome back with another video in this video i'm going to review pixel experience for redmi 700 by 3 and red 12 and 1 so let's get started and of course really thanks to uh, avinov for building this one let me check the name here available or not his name is not available here so of course android version 12 you guys can see and 12.1 whatever you say and currently used for this room is since power plus and build number baseband and latest security update so you people already know about pixel experience and what is pixel experience pixel experience always comes with very stock application that means no use customization in fact there is no customization in that room and which is a pure android experience some of you people always uh, like that kind of room where you don't need extra customization just need uh, smoothness and performance for daily drive and this room is just like that and if you are a daily driver user just want a perfect custom room and no need extra customization and you, you don't worry about the customization then of course uh, you can blindly install this room because this is really really perfect room for daily use and let me show you from settings what we have after that we have the system language and input and of course you people already know about the pixel experience always comes with gfs that means it's a gfs build you people don't need to worry about any gfs to install so just install the rom and use and here is the gesture system and system navigation there is no extra customization as it is pixel rom uh, only left edge and right edge that's it and nothing more even you don't get screenshot option you if you want to take a screenshot just uh, press and hold the power button and the uh, volume down button just do like this just press like this shortly and it will be saved so this is the way you guys can install and if you want to customize like this and you can do that with different colors and other things and you can write anything if you want to then and here is the colors and other other features are there of course and if you want to delete of course you can delete and of course 100 mode is working 100 mode available dead time rules and other things and most interestingly device settings is available if you want to improve your sound quality of course use image sound enhancer ambient display display color calibration fps overlay clear speaker and of course thermal profile and if you want to use thermal profile then just select the profile which is benchmark browser camera dialer whatever if you want to select default then select default you can scan change the status then we have the digital well-being and parental control and other things password and accounts and of course let me show you the security option what we have here and everything is just cool uh, face unlock and fingerprint is available so fingerprint and face unlock you guys can use no problem face unlock available then we have the accessibility you guys can use here mono audio audio adjustment just enable the mono audio and audio balance and caption preferences live caption and timing control system controls vibration and haptics if you don't need that then just turn this off also you can turn this off from uh, sound section and then we have the wallpaper and style and we have some built-in wallpapers you guys can select according to your choice then we have uh, at the bottom dark theme themed icons and i read everything is working fine and of course display setting as usual uh, as we always have the regular customization in all other usb based room so as it is adaptive brightness font size night light and colors available boosted saturated whatever you want to use you guys can use double tap to wake is working no issues i checked then we have the sound and vibration like as other custom rom we have every single customization here that means the necessary things are available necessary features nothing extra then it's over here nothing more we have nothing to show and by default you guys will get that google camera go and now let me show you the smoothness of that room and which is just mind blowing i i'm using just for three or four days so which is cool i didn't get any single lag and anything so that's why i'm suggesting you people if you are 
really uh, don't worry about any customization on your ROM, then of course you just can go with the Pixel experience, which is really better. Better is from the experience, of course, you guys will get. And by default, of course, we need uh, we will get the home settings that means launcher, which is Pixel launcher as usual. And uh, there is nothing extra customization. There is nothing. So, and if you want to see here the di uh, different user interfaces here, and you guys can select that wallpaper like this. And then we have the widget section here and battery widgets. And what you need, you guys can just uh, select and use. And we have five clock widgets as usual. If you want to use, then of course you can use that one too. And if you want to select that one, just select like this, and wallpaper will be changed in the background. So that's it. And of course, as it is Pixel ROM, you guys will get the uh, black screen on the control center, and you guys will not get the uh, different tile for Wi-Fi and data. You, if you want to turn off Wi-Fi and data, then of course you need to press here, and then you have to turn off the Wi-Fi or uh, mobile data, whatever you say. And we have the other things like this, and of course screencast, uh, extra night light, auto rotation, everything is working. And of course we have the screen recorder if you want to then, and audio sources from microphone, device audio and microphone, and device info, those other things. Now now it is. Let me show you the Geekbench score, which is not good actually, but I didn't get any problem in practical life. So that's it. I ran it for second time, uh, which is the same results. And now let me show you. And here is the CPU throttling result, and which is seventy three percent, which is not very fine, and which is not also good, but. I didn't get any problem in real life and this is not a gaming room remember that thing this is not a gaming room but if you want to use module then of course you guys can play games no issues with that and here is the google maps which is working perfectly and it's very fast and accurate so no problem with other things and of course we have by default google dialer and messaging app that's it and we will get some uh, extra application and here is the google camera which is working fine i'm using right now perfectly working there is no issues so if you want to use that rom for your daily life then of course you guys can do so hope you guys understand the video if you if i miss anything then let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching and of course safety net is passed by default